Massive arrest. Shocking video stuns all Americans. Three elaborated crimes. People nearly got away with. Before we can start the video, I would like to encourage all of you to watch this video until the end and share your personal opinion in the comment section down below about the three elaborate crimes people nearly got away with. This will help create an amazing and vibrant community on YouTube. Thank you very much. Number 1. The Twin Jewel Thieves Like a scene out of movie, a group of three masked men descended from the ceiling of the Kaufhaus des Westerns department store in Berlin, Germany. Security cameras watched them steal $6.8 million worth of jewelry before climbing their ropes and disappearing into the night. It was almost the perfect crime, except for one tiny mistake. One of the thieves dropped a rubber glove that he had been wearing. Police were able to take a single drop of sweat and find the DNA. The only trouble was that it belonged to two people, identical twins named Hassan and Abbas O. Even though they could narrow down the identity of those twins, there was no way to prove which one actually committed the crime. Because of this, they were both able to walk away without serving any jail time. However, it's not exactly like they got away with it. They are both being closely monitored by law enforcement for the rest of their lives. Number 2. The Family Killer John List was an accountant who lived in a mansion in Westfield, New Jersey with his mother, wife and three children. When he lost his job in 1971, he was so ashamed that he never told, told anyone. Every morning left his house fully dressed for work, but instead of uh, commuting he secretly sat, sat at the train station drinking coffee and reading newspapers all day. He stole money from his mother's bank account in order to pay the bills, but he knew that this couldn't last forever. Instead of facing his problems or trying to get a new job, he decided he needed a clean break. List short and killed his entire family, made a sandwich and began to meticulously cut himself out of family photographs. He called his children's school to say that they were going on a long vacation and left a note on his family's bodies explaining why he had to do it. Number 3. The Stockholm Jetway Pulling out of an art iced isn't easy, but in the year 2000, a group of thieves managed to get away with stealing millions of dollars worth of painting from the National Museum of Stockholm. They had timers set to explode multiple car bombs in the city. Even though the alarm was set off, they were keeping the police busy with the car bombs and bought themselves enough time to steal two Renoir painting as well as a famous self-portrait of Rembrandt. They even planted nails at the entryways of the museum so that the police could step onto them and impale their feet. The thieves all climbed into a boat and speed off into the night before the authorities could arrive to the museum. They probably felt triumphant in that moment, like they were a part of a James Bond film. However, it's one thing to steal paintings and a whole other thing to successfully sell them on the black market. Every time the thieves attempted to sell one of the paintings, a conspirator would get arrested. 
by 2005, a total of eight men were arrested in connection to the ice and the paintings were recovered. Well, dear friends, as always, in this second part of the video, I will present my personal opinion related to the three elaborate crimes well, people are nearly got away with. I am also strongly encouraging you, the viewer, to share your personal opinions about the twin jewel thieves, the family killer and the Stockholm getaway. By sharing your opinions in the comment section down below, you'll ensure and you'll create an amazing and vibrant community here on YouTube. And I thank you very much for this. Well, dear friends, being a mastermind of um, a thievery or being a mastermind of a crime, I think that it's nearly impossible. There are so few cases where people got away with their crime. But in general, perpetrators tend to be caught because of their attachment to the crime that they committed. In the case of the twin jewel thieves, this is a particular example of uh, how a small mistake can get you being monitored for the rest of your life. Well, let's think that one of the twin really did the bank job and uh, took the jewelry and uh, made the ice. Well, how me, the second uh, twin, for example, would live my rest of the life thinking that I'm always monitored by the police only because probably my twin brother did something illegal. This will be a real nightmare on my life and I think I would not like to have it on my conscience. Let's think about the second crime, the family killer. Well, I don't know John List did what he did with his family. I think that uh, we are uh, facing in our lives with different moments where we need to take some hard decisions. But renouncing and destroying a family only just because we lost our job. This is a clear sign of weakness. The first thing that John List sh should have done at that point was to enroll and get a new job. This is what all of us will do, sir. Thank you very much, dear friends, for watching the video until the end. Have a great day. Thank you.